and now we're synced. What's up guys, Saf here on Super Saf TV and we've got a very special video today with my friend uh, Marquez. Welcome to the channel, man. Thanks for having me. It's yeah. always, always great to have you. Yeah. So today we're gonna do a video which is the top five smartphones of 2023 so far. Now Marquez, I know you have your smartphone awards at the end of the year. Yep. And it's so interesting because so many people are now doing their own versions. Mm -hmm of the smartphone awards and you know how do you how, how do you feel about that by did the way? you see my mid-season one yeah i did yeah that's how i felt that's yeah. how i felt it's almost like it's become like a its own genre of video hmm. which is cool but i kind of obviously there's like a gradient to how phones come out during the year hmm. where there's a few in the beginning and then a few in the middle and then they all come out quarter three yeah and then you kind of know that's phone buying season yeah so yeah, we're sort of just like looking at the first half of the year. Yeah, so I think, because um, I've been doing this uh, series for a few years now where I kind of do a mid-year, what I normally find is some of the smartphones that come out towards the beginning of the year kind of get forgotten and overshadowed, shall we say, towards the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So this way we can, you know, actually talk about and highlight some of the cool smartphones because there have been a few cool smartphones so far, right? There have, there definitely have. There's been some moments. Yes, there has been. Sure. So the way we're going to do this is... Um, as always, 2023. So that is the condition that I've given Marquez. Yeah. And at the end of the video, we will be um, sharing with you our daily drivers, as they like to say, mm -hmm. the term daily drivers, right? Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that. But uh, that's been the only condition. The list will be different to yours. That's fine, guys. We can still be friends. Drop your list <laughs> in the description below because people get very emotional if you don't include the devices that yeah. they like. Yeah, it's funny whenever this comes up on like every top five list, but like if uh, ESPN ranks like the top basketball players yeah. and you put the wrong person as number three, it's like an insult to everyone yeah. else on the list. It's like, no, there's a lot of good phones. Yeah. This is just my pot, my yeah. top five. And and we've used a lot of smartphones, but we've not used every single one this That's year. That's also true. My list is only from phones that I've actually tested. There you go. So yeah. now, now you know. So we're going to start off. So Marquez, as you're the guest on the channel, I'll let you go first. Okay. So my number five. Oh, well, I mean, it can be in any order. Okay, so yeah. I wrote down my top five, and I'll, okay. I'll go reverse order. Okay. I'll start with my number five. Okay, your number five. Okay, that's just going to be interesting. Okay, I got my list down here. Yeah. Uh, my number five is the Oppo Find X6 Pro. Oppo Find X6 Pro. Nice. Yeah. This was one that came out, and I saw the, the hardware spec sheet list, and I was just like, phones are just like that now? Like, yeah. you can just get 5,000 milliamp hours, a one-inch yeah. sensor, 1440p, like, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, you just go down the list, it's got it all. Mm. Um, it's not a huge hit this side of the Atlantic, but yeah. it's still an incredible piece of hardware, so it is on my list. It is indeed. Now, I actually have not tested okay. the device. Um, uh, it's just been crazy, so I've not actually tested it. Otherwise, it may have made my list. I think you like it. Yeah. The camera's good. But I'm going to give you mine. Now, mine isn't in any particular order because okay. I think it's really tough to kind of put them oh, into I... <laughs> the order. But um, I'm going to say... The Oppo Find N2 Flip. Yes. Right. Oh, the Flip? Okay. Yeah, okay. the Flip. Now, with this, because um, we've had the Galaxy Flip series, which has been dominating yep. clamshell design flip phones, right? But I kind of feel like, no shade on Samsung, but I feel like they've kind of taken a bit of a back step. They're like, hey, we've not really got much competition, so we'll just do incremental updates year and year. Whereas I feel that the Find N2 Flip has actually a usable front display right yeah they agree? samsung was first to it yes and now we're starting to get the improvements on this foundation of like the flip and the fold mm -hmm. um i think the second half of the year we're going to see a lot more interesting yes stuff yeah but for now i agree with that as probably the best flipping, flipping. one that you can get so yeah. i like that now it's interesting you mentioned about later on in the year because I think the Find N2 Flip will get forgotten later in the year. That makes when sense. When we have the other one. Because we're going to get this. I mean, you've seen yeah. the rumors. Like, yeah. we're, we're expecting huge screens on the front of these folding yeah. Motorola, Samsung. So, uh, you're right. It probably will. I mean, that doesn't make it a bad phone. Exactly. When the new ones come out, it's just like, this is how far we've gotten with yeah. this. And, and I think that's, uh, that's important to kind of like, you know, give them credit because it's a really nice phone. Now, it's not perfect because... With the front display, there's not a huge deal that you can do with it. They have been doing updates. And when you're using the cover display, the cameras only shoot at 1080p, not 4K. I don't know why that is. Strange. Yeah, I don't know if that's a hardware limitation, but it's kind of weird why they do that. But hmm. yeah. yeah. 
But the good thing is, I mean, it's got a much larger battery than the uh, Flip uh, yeah. from Samsung. It, hardware, the whole list. It's, it's so good that the, there's, there's not much, the, the crease is better and there's, there's also no gap, which I really like as well compared to what we've got on the Flip. So I love seeing that competition. So that's going to be on my list. All okay. Right. What do we have next? So I got crazy by making mine in order, but I got to stick with it yeah. now. So I'm sticking in order. <laughs> okay, that's fine. All right. I got ROG Phone 7 Ultimate. So okay. Asus stuff does get forgotten a lot in yes. the second half of the year. Um, but obviously there's the ROG Phone line. The Ultimate mm -hmm. I picked because this is the one I tested and this is the highest end version. And yeah. this is, again, one of those phones that's just like a spec monster. Yeah. And if you like media mm. in any way including gaming obviously this yeah. phone is the complete package an absurd 6000 milliamp hour battery That's insane uh the only thing it doesn't have is wireless charging yeah uh but it makes up for it with like these massive speakers it's got the new chip obviously mm -hmm. and i don't know if you saw the video i made about it i did but the cooler that it's, they've made for these things it, it gets crazier every year yeah the aeroactive cooler now has um like some subwoofers in there and it's got cooling at the front yeah. So it cools the front portion of the display as well, yeah. which is insane. And like triggers and LED lights and all this Everything. crazy stuff. Um, one of the wildest phones you can get. Yep. Somehow it will get overshadowed by the second half of this year, but I think yeah. that one's going to be a great phone. I've used old ROG phones for years, and those phones hold up well. So Yes. Good. So um, that's also on my list as well. Okay. So we'd snap on that one. Uh, yeah, I, I just love how overkill that smartphone is. Like, you know, you yeah. don't need a display at the back. You've you got just it. don't. You RGB. never see it. It's on the back. <laughs> yeah, like, it's on the back. But it's just, I, I just love that it's so overkill. And it's not for everybody. Mm -hmm. But it, I think it really showcases how far a smartphone can go. You know, you've got the split batteries. You've got the USB port. I think it was the first device with the USB port on the side. On the side. As well as on the bottom. So if you're gaming and you want to plug in, you can do bypass charging where it's like actually keeping the phone powered while yeah. you're, you know, it's, it's not coming in the way. It's not the side. Yeah, Asus Love has it. maybe the most battery features of any phone I've used. Yeah. From charge limiting to charge speed limiting to bypass charging to Amazing. all the other stuff. Yeah, they're good. So ROG Fold 7 Ultimate. Yeah. Right. What do we have next? All right. Next up, I'm ranking up a little bit now. Yeah. Galaxy S23. Okay. Just the standard S23. Okay, interesting. So this is kind of like the, I, and I talked about this with the S22, but like the default like yes solid does everything you need not too flashy I and mean, it's a boring phone mm. basically um and i called it the iphone of android last year okay which is of course a crazy <laughs> thing to say it's a title for a video but like the truth is like when you go in a store here in the u.s like you can't really go wrong with an s23 mm -hmm. it's got the camera it's got the battery it's going to get software updates you know it's got good signal good screen like there's not really anything wrong with the s23 yeah which makes it super safe and super boring, but it's still a really good phone. It ticks all the boxes, and I think a lot of people who maybe will see the top tier device will be like, that's cool, but it's not for me. Mm -hmm. The S23 is fine, and you're right, it ticks all the boxes. It's a, a really, really good device. So, And the top tier device is gigantic. Exactly. So the S23, not even the Plus, the S23 is, what, a 6.2 inch? Just yeah. Or something in, yeah. That, in that range, so it's not huge, it's flat, it's just... It's a nice phone. It is a definitely a nice phone. That is not on my list. Okay. But I do have the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra on my list. Okay. Now, I am somebody who loves the S Pen, right? I don't use it all the time, I'll be honest with you. But when I do use it, I'm like, oh, man, it's so good that it's here, right? It's one of those things. It it's is. Like, if you don't use it, it feels like a gimmick. Yeah. But the one time you need it, it's man. like, of course, it's, it's like so a great good. feature. But like even I think this year for me, being from the UK as well, is that it's powered by the uh, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 that's across the board. We don't yeah. have Exynos. Yeah. So that's something that I've personally been like super happy about. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just battery life, performance, the cameras are reliable. I can just, I don't have to think about them, take pictures, zoom in. Like we were at a wedding yesterday and a bonk's wedding, shout out to Board at Work. And, you know, just to kind of get in those zoomed in shots yeah. when you're right at the back. You can do that with the S23 Ultra. It's really Ultra. useful. It's it really is, useful. It is. Yeah. And you can take pictures of the moon. <laughs> you can take crazy pictures of the moon. I don't know if you've used the 200 megapixel mode or whatever. Like yeah. there's other crazy camera features. But this is on my list too. Okay. This is the top of my list right. actually. It's it's my, I mean, it, yeah, it's the huge phone Spoiler. that does everything. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Um, yeah, I don't really disagree at all. That's a good phone. All right. But we've still got a couple more. Mm -hmm. So 
Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the video so far. And also Marquez's channel. We'll talk about that a little bit later. So it's, it's a fun story again. Okay. All right. So, all right. So you've revealed your... So you got my number one. Oh, yeah. You've got your number one. And my three, four, five. Okay. So you've got two. So we'll, we'll keep that for a second. Okay. Now, the next one on my list is the Honor Magic 5 Pro. Okay. Okay. So now with this device, like, it kind of like, for me, it's got the Huawei DNA, but you have Google Play Store because Honor has now disconnected from that's, Huawei, that's right? That's huge. Now, uh, I tested out the P60 Pro recently and it's got really sick cameras, right? Really good cameras, but hmm. you don't have Google Play Store, which is just... Mm. It's just a killer for me. I didn't test it this is. phone, so this is yeah. really... Okay. Yeah, so it's a really, really nice phone. And one of the cool things that they've done is they've got... Um, the same resolution for all three cameras. Ultra wide, primary, and telephoto all have 50 megapixels, okay. which is the first that I've seen. So what they've kind of done is they're like, you know, let's not sideline the ultra wide and the telephoto. Are they the same sensor? They're not the same sensor. But they're the same Same size. resolution, okay. right? So you're, you're, you're doing the pixel binning on all of them. So mm -hmm. you're kind of working on a similar thing. They've also got some cool features like this AI motion sensing capture, which it automatically takes the point of action of the shot. So if you're jumping, for example, it will snap that. And oh, it's actually clever. quite good. Yeah, yeah. It's actually quite good. Okay. I know it can sound like a bit of a gimmick, but it actually works. Display, obviously you've got 50 watts of wireless charging, which you normally don't get on other devices. You've yeah. got a charger included out of the box. It's like 60 something watt charger. Wow. So it is, like an all-round flagship from Honor. So that's one that I have been using this year. And I, I'm like, this might be forgotten later on. That's a good one. Yeah. I like that. So. Okay. All right. So you've got your last one. My last pick. Yeah. Chrome roll. Filling in my top five. Yeah. Um, I'm putting the Pixel 7a in there. Okay. Interesting. Pixel 7a. So, and I reviewed this phone. I tested this phone for the, the weeks leading up to launch. And it's like... <laughs> I don't know the price of all the phones like up to date that we're talking about, but mm -hmm. this was an interesting launch price where it yeah. was a little bit close to the Pixel 7, which yeah. made it kind of a curious buy. Yeah. Um, but I just think all the same, all the Pixel stuff that you like about every other Pixel, you still like about this one, yeah. all the software, the hold for me, the assistant, the cameras, the voice transcription, all that stuff is still there. Yeah. The software updates. And they threw some new cameras in this year. Mm -hmm. And so my really only question was like, are they going to be good cameras? Mm. And it's a Pixel, so it turned out to be, yeah, they're pretty yeah. good cameras. It is a step down from the Pixel 7's cameras. Yeah. So if you're willing to spend a little more to get glass instead of plastic, yeah. to get 20-watt wireless charging instead of whatever, it's like slower wireless on this one, Yeah. then you can get it. But yeah, yeah. wireless, 90 hertz, it's all there. That's an interesting pick. I, I, I did, so the Pixel 7a was going to be on my list, mm -hmm. but I kind of feel like, as you were saying, that would you rather just go for the Pixel 7? And the Pixel 6a was a great recommendation for me, right? Like it was so easy to recommend and I actually know a few people who have got it because it was such a good deal. Yeah. But I think the Pixel 7a will drop in price, like it's as Google it. do. It right? has to. Yeah. I mean, the, the we saw what happened at Pixel 7, which, by the way, great phone, mm. very a very low price, very impressive phone. Yeah. The same thing's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. So that's an, I actually did not think you were going to pick that okay. after seeing your video, which is yeah. an interesting one. Mm. But my final one, mine is not in no particular order, OnePlus 11. Interesting. So I'll tell you why, right? Because for $700, mm -hmm. it's actually cheaper now, depending on where you get it, right? You're actually getting a really good deal for what I believe is like, a really good all-rounder. Now, it might not be the best for everything. You know, I know the term you use like for the cameras, maybe a B plus, right? Mm -hmm. But I think it's going back to the grassroots of OnePlus. That I agree with. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Which I really like because like, I remember there was one point where you would always have a OnePlus device. That would be your daily. There was a couple, a couple years probably yeah. from around like the OnePlus five or six yeah. to the seven pro yeah. where I was like recommending them all over the place. Yeah. Like those phones for fast, smooth and inexpensive. Mm -hmm. And they would always have the flagship chip and yeah. a high refresh rate screen and beautiful software. Yes. And that was really all you had to, you, the cameras weren't up to par, but it was like everything else about the phone was so good yeah. that I love those phones. Yeah. Then they kind of strayed a little bit. Yes. And now they're kind of starting to flip it back. So I like that. Yeah. Uh, they got the Hasselblad stuff going on with the camera. Mm -hmm. They have fast charging, probably some of the fastest charging phones in the U.S. Yes. And Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, I think. Yes. So, yeah, I, I think it's a, good, it's a good, yeah, 
I'm looking, I like the trajectory of OnePlus right now. Yeah. I think that's really good for them. So I wanted to give them some credit as well because I think, you know, later down the line, it might get a little bit forgotten, but I think right now it's a device that I really like and I, and I do like where OnePlus is going. With Oppo taking over, sure, Oppo has some great devices, but I think OnePlus has its core audience and its fan base. And, you know, going back to that at $700, mm -hmm. I think that's a good deal for what you're getting. Yeah. Right around the same price as the S23. Yeah. yeah. So that's an, that's an interesting uh, area. If you want to go for something that's, uh, you know, more Samsung, I'd say better cameras. But then if you want everything with the crazy fast charging yeah. and, you know, uh, the display is beautiful as well on there. Here's the visual for me. Yeah. Samsung at this price is even keel all the way across yeah. the board. OnePlus would be like way faster yeah. charging, but not yeah. as fast like wireless yeah. charging. But it's up here. <laughs> it's that stuff, yeah. Great this, bad camera, but yeah, it's it's an interesting phone. It is indeed. All right, so that is our top five list, right? Drop your top fives in the comments below. Remember, we can still be friends, Yeah. right? We don't need to fight, right? But as we promised at the start of this video, what are the data drivers? Now, I think right. you've already kind of given a bit of a preview. Yeah. But you've got so deeper on skin on there, so I it's fine. I held it up, but yeah. if you couldn't already tell. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm a two-phone person, so I yes, guess this is, so am I. this is a 2X reveal for me. Yep. Um, I am daily driving the Pixel 7 Pro right now. Okay. A little older, might be surprising. Yeah. Uh, I don't always daily the newest phone, mm -hmm. and I was doing a lot on the S23 Ultra up until about a month ago. Okay. And I just, the software just got to me enough that I went back uh, right. to the Pixel. Okay, fair enough. Um, I think the S23 Ultra has a better camera than the Pixel. Okay. So it's interesting. But I like a lot of yeah. things about the Pixel and I use okay. that every day. And then the iPhone is in my other pocket. So this is the iPhone 14 Pro, not the Max. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's my pocket. So I've asked you this before because last year you were using the 13 instead of the 13, sorry, 13 Pro instead of the 13 Pro Max. Yeah. Is that just because you don't need, it, it has everything that the Max has? Yeah, they've Pretty done much. the same cameras as the Max. Mm. The only thing really I'm missing out on is a bigger battery and a bigger screen. Mm. And again, this is a two phone problem, but since I have two phones, yeah. I don't burn through battery as much okay. as if I had one phone. That makes sense. So this is enough battery for me. If I was a one phone person, I would be on the Max. Okay. Yeah. That makes that makes sense. So I actually do have the Max as my daily. So it's 14 Pro Max as my daily. And the S23 Ultra, yep. which uh, again, for two me, big phones. Two big phones, yeah. yeah. I, you know what? It helps me balance. <laughs> <laughs> if I've got them both in one pocket, my pockets, they're sure. way about the same. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, the S23 Ultra for me, like I just did my review, um, you know, like two months later review, and I was like, it does everything for me. And, you know, it ticks all the boxes. I've got the S Pen mm -hmm. if I need it. They've got the S Pen without making a compromise on the battery life, which is good. Yep. I remember the Note series, they always have a slightly smaller battery to fit in the S Pen. They've not done that this year. Yep. Um, beautiful display, performance, everything is right there. So I'm like, S23 Ultra. Could easily be anyone's only phone. Yeah, easily. Yeah, easily. Yeah. But that uh, that might change in the next few months, which is why we've done this video. Yeah, we've. there's a lot around the corner. Also, yeah. I want to shout out uh, color and case, because you've got a... Okay. What color is this one? So this is uh, this, the uh, cream color. The cream color one, but and then you got, got a case. And it's got a Spigen case on there. So that's that. Yeah. And what's this? This is the, so this is the purple, but yeah. I've again just got a, a plain case on there, Black which case. is, which is got a lot of fingerprints on. I'm going naked 14 Pro yeah. and debranded uh, black Pixel. These are both black phones. Yeah. So the thing with me is I'm really kind of paranoid about dropping my phones because I've dropped them a lot. Totally fair. So I am, um, because uh, I remember I actually dropped the Fold last year and it oh. survived. It survived, but it had like this chip at the top. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the one I... So no, 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 I dropped this one, didn't I? Yeah. What's so now one? I'm like paranoid and I have to have a case on my phone. There you go. I see yeah, it. You can tell where I yeah. dropped it. I've because dropped my phone yeah. once. But you're, you're brave. You're brave. <laughs> I'm, I'm not so brave, so I always have cases on my phone. Totally but good idea. Yeah, Marquez, I really appreciate you being on the channel again, man. Thanks for having me. Make sure you subscribe to Marquez. So this is funny because every year I have a look uh, when whenever we're about to co uh, collab, I, I have a look at my Instagram and it has this section where it, su it shows you other accounts that you share followers with, right? Mm -hmm. And you're always the only person on there. <laughs> There's only one account there? There's only one account where I share the most followers with, right? Usually you'd have like a few, like right. a list, but for some reason, 
almost all my followers also follow you, like 50 something percent, right? Okay. So the other 40 whatever percent, what are you doing? Come on over. Yeah, make Come sure you check out Marquez. And if you enjoyed this video and you see more like it, then don't forget to subscribe here as well. I'll leave some related videos for you guys to check out some previous collaborations. Hope you enjoyed this video, found it useful. If you did, as always, don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching. This is Saf and MKBHD. We'll see you next time. Peace.